Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Moy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if it's your first time here. So let me just tell y'all, this video is about to be long. This literally took like two days to film. As you guys can see, I have some 613 hair or some blonde hair, whatever you call it. And I'm going to be dyeing this hair blue. So I'm taking the Adore Indigo Blue. That is the color 112. And I'm going to be trying out the water color method for the first time so i have my bucket filled with um really warm well not really warm hot water and i i ended up using the entire bottle of the um the hair dye so honestly i would recommend getting two bottles so um i just started dipping the hair in the water and honestly guys i would recommend like if you have got to be glue um spray the free spray i would recommend putting that on the lace because i did get some of the blue um dye on my lace as you guys can see and i did get it out but you know that that is a step that i could have skipped so this is what the hair looks like in the water i forgot to use gloves so it did stay in my fingernails and everything so you want to make sure that you get gloves before you try this process but anywho, I let the hair sit in the water for uh, probably 10 to 15 minutes and, you know, just soak up all of that really nice pretty blue. And I did have like the end of a makeup brush just punching the hair deeper into the water just so it can absorb all of the blue. As you guys can see, it's like two different blues on the hair it's not coming out the exact color that i wanted it to be which is why i recommend if you want it to be really really dark you want to get two bottles of the dye so this is what the hair is looking like right now after allowing it to sit in the water um it looks pretty good to me at this point i wasn't really like upset about it or anything um but as i said it's not exactly the blue that i wanted well not all of it was the blue that i wanted as you guys can see i did get some um of the dye on the lace which which i was obviously not pleased about anyways i'm gonna take some conditioner whenever you color your hair guys or bleach your hair you want to make sure that you soak the hair in a lot of conditioner because it can ruin the texture so i'm just using this alike naturals um conditioner this has coconut in it i think it's a really really good conditioner so i put some of it on the hair and i did put some of it in the water and i just you know rub that in and allowed the hair to absorb as much of it as humanly possible honestly and then i did like rinse out the hair and blow dry it and everything you guys will see that um further up in the video but as you guys can see i really really did like a generous amount of the conditioner and it was almost out anyway so it's not like i was saving it so yeah i'm just applying the conditioner as you guys can see and just making sure that i um you know applied all over the wig i did also try to use it to like get some of the um the hair color out of the lace it helped a little bit and i'm actually happy that this wasn't a full lace wig but it really never it, it didn't take out all of the um the 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 the, 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 the color <laughs> so i am just gonna be using some volume 40 and some basic white and no i'm not gonna bleach any part of the hair i'm actually trying to bleach the knots this is what the wig look like by the way this is when it's blow dried and everything so the lace still looks stained so i'm trying to bleach the knots and also get rid of the blue tint that's on the lace i'm not good at bleaching knots i must be completely honest um i'm still practicing well i'm still practicing everything but when it comes to bleaching knots i'm really not good at that I did leave that to sit for probably another 10 to 15 minutes and this is like the next day guys because this process took forever but 
I am just taking my got to be glue gel and I'm using the one in the black tube because that one honestly just works so much better and it doesn't leave any like um white marks or anything so I'm applying that onto like the perimeter of my head and normally I would do a ball cap but I wasn't in the mood for a ball cap so I just had my um stocking cap just sitting on the head on my head like that so i think i did like two or three layers of the um the got to be glue and then i went in with my hair dryer and i made sure that it was clear um you want to make sure that your whatever adhesive you're using you want to make sure that it dries down clear before you attempt to apply your wig so this is what the wig looks like i did like try to curl it and whatever but my my curling iron is like really really old and it didn't really come up like good um so from bleaching the knots or my attempt at bleaching the knots let me just say that it the the um the color the color on the lace it kind of came out i'm not gonna lie it did like it did a lot but i still went in with makeup as you guys can see on the lace itself well the inside of the lace itself and now I am going in again with some got to be glue, but this time I'm using the free spray over the same perimeter of my head just to make sure that when the glue and the spray, you know, fuses together and dries down, it just gives you a stronger, longer hold. Now, of course, I want to go back in with my hair dryer to dry everything down until it's nice and clear. And then I'm going to apply the wig. Now, I've never done blue hair in my entire life. So this, <laughs> honestly, guys, I didn't know what to expect. And I've never worn, well, I have, but I don't like wearing side parts on this side of my head. This is on the right side. I know it's the left when you're watching the video, but it's on the right side. But I actually wanted it on the left side. It's only when I started to apply the wig on my head, I was like, oh, crap. I put the part on the wrong side but it I mean I'm comfortable with it now so this process that you guys are seeing I'm just like putting the lace on my scalp I'm making sure that it's nice and flat and I mean the lace still looks white let's be honest the lace still looks white so um yeah, I should have like done more of the makeup to make it match my skin more, but we're gonna fix that. So I'm just going in with my hair dryer again, and I am using that to further dry down the glue, um, the got to be glue free spray and the got to be glue gel, just to make sure that the wig is sticking to my head, and ain't nobody can snatch it, honey. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just like going over the front of my hair and just trying to get everything dried down as best as possible um normally i would do this on a high heat but everybody's been telling me to try it on a lower heat because it it's supposed to work better um i'm still not seeing where it makes a difference but i'm testing it out so i'm i i do have it on a lower setting on my hair dryer but all those curls that you guys see, I took them out. <laughs> because for one, because the part was on the wrong side, I did the curls in the wrong direction and everything. So I just ended up straightening the hair off camera. Um, one side I did, I feel like I plucked a little bit too much on one side. But the other side was perfect. I was able to do baby hairs and everything. Because I think I plucked too much. I didn't do baby hairs on the other side. But this is the finished look guys. I made sure to do my makeup and everything. So you guys could get like the full effect. I honestly, I am in love. I never thought that colored hair would be something that I would actually wear. But look at me now. This looks so freaking amazing. And the 613 here is is from Amor Dosi Hair. I will leave their information in the description box. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little um, hair tutorial. Because honestly, as I said, it took two days to film. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you made it to this um, this far on the video, then thank you so much 
for watching i really hope as i said i really hope you learned something and i'm actually very proud of myself because this is my first time doing watercolor and i think it came out really well so um yeah thank you thank you for the support thank you for watching um make sure you let me guys know what you think in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video bye